Hello, I'm Cliff Godwin, Senior Vice President of Application Development at Oracle, and I'm responsible for the eBusiness Suite product family. With me today is Jeannie Lowell, who's our Vice President of Strategy for eBusiness Suite. And Jeannie's been leading an initiative uh, to, to help bring uh, mobile apps to the whole product suite of, uh, of eBusiness Suite. So uh, Jeannie, we want to get an update on that. Tell us what's the latest in mobile apps. Great. We're very excited to be delivering mobile apps for eBusiness Suite that really delivers on-the-go access to is eBusiness Suite data and functions. When you think mobile, some people think tablet, smartphone. For today's conversation, I'll talk about smartphone. Um, and we're very focused on delivering to a smartphone design, which really drives to simplicity, to take advantage of the very small form factor, uh, actionable, to make it easy to know what you need to do very quickly, consistency, to ensure that if people are using multiple smartphone apps, that it, they know how to use it, um, and then how do we leverage the device integration, you know, mm -hmm. camera, email, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, and fundamentally delivering to the most popular devices, uh, iOS and Android. So yeah. Very exciting. Makes perfect sense as a design point. So let's get into which actual apps we've been focused on. Okay. We're looking across the suite, uh, and I'll kind of bucket them into several categories. The first is around kind of horizontal apps, which most of your employees will use, depending on the products you're using. Starting with expense entry, time entry, approvals, uh, eye procurement to look at your requisitions, uh, worker directory from HR, et cetera. Uh, you can look at another bucket, which is opening up enterprise data for sales reps to look at the sales order status for their customers before they talk to a customer. Similar thing about item, uh, you know, item availability or inventory availability, purchasing, product information, et cetera. It's really opening up the data we have in EBS to a broader set of users. And I'd say the final category is around roles, people whose job is on the go. You know, a maintenance technician, a field service uh, engineer, um, a manufacturing supervisor. So right. really focused in those key categories. Mm -hmm. um, when we look at the apps, but this is just a list of kind of, you know, probably initial focus. We'll mm -hmm. continue delivering more, looking for more ideas. Um, and all of these apps will be released independently. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd say the best way for people to keep up with beyond this list mm -hmm. is be looking at, you know, on my Oracle support, we'll have a note that we're updating eBusiness Suite mobile apps for people to see that growing list of apps we're delivering. Right. So any given time, you, there's a, uh, you go to uh, or my Oracle support and you can get a list of which apps are available mm -hmm. on which platforms because we may release on, say, iOS before we've done it on Android. So at any given point in time, this will be moving and somebody get the current state of play on my Oracle support. Exactly. Okay, now what is it going to take for a customer to deploy one of these apps? Okay. Our strategy is to make it easy. Um, customers, first is we're going to have it be available on 12.1.3 and 12.2. So existing customers on 12.1.3 can easily deploy it there. So both, both uh, releases will be supporting with the same client device. Um, second is we'll make it you know, easy to uptake because it's, you get, customers get access to it with existing product licenses. So a mobile app for, say, time entry, if mm -hmm. you have Oracle Time and Labor, you get the mobile app. So no new right. product licenses there. Similarly, no new technology. Leveraging existing technology with REST services, um, and we're building our apps with mobile application framework just as a tool development tool for ourselves so that we can deploy on iOS and Android. Um, from a deployment, once you have that kind of basis, is deliver, you know, download a server-side patch where we deliver some server-side uh, changes. Um, users get the client app from the App Store, whether it be Apple or Google Play, um, and then users use their EBS uh, login. So it's easy for them to just access, whether it be through the web or through a smartphone. That's almost too good to be true, including the part about, if I heard that correctly, they're free. That's right, with okay. existing if, licenses. As long as you have the existing, if you exactly. have internet expenses, you can have the expenses app. That's right. And that's excellent. Easy to deploy. Wow, so that's great. So what, uh, where are we going from here? What's the next step? So how are we continuing to develop the strategy okay. for mobile? We will continue developing, I and mean, we're looking at delivering more mobile apps um, and expanding that and also deepening the apps, right? So you expect revs against the apps. Um, as we get more questions from customers, we're also hearing, well, how do we better support um, mobile device management? You know, mm -hmm. so how do we let people, instead of going to the app store, manage deployment of the client app centrally? How do we deploy against DMZ? So a number of kind of those additional topics as we drive to the life cycle. Mm -hmm. So more kind of key, to key topics there. Very good. Great. And so I guess the key, the key summary is uh, exciting that we're delivering mm -hmm. to existing customers, 12.1.3 and 12.2, easy to uptake. And we really see it's going to change the way our users use and get value out of eBusiness Suite right. um, of to be on the go and to take action very quickly. So right. we're very excited. Very good. Yeah, no, it's, it's part of what we're doing overall. We want to modernize eBusiness Suite. We want to make sure you can get to eBusiness Suite data from the latest popular devices and with modern interfaces that people expect to use uh, coming from the, the background they have with social media and search capabilities like Google. So we're, we're 
Um, I think smartphones are a good example of that, and, uh, and the fact that you can take these and deploy them without having to go to a different release of the business suite if you're already on the 12.1 release, which most people are, uh, that I think is an excellent message, and so far I think we've had very good feedback from very our customers. Good. Great. Well, thank you, Jeannie, for coming by and giving us that update. Uh, until next time, this is Cliff Godwin, and we'll see you next time.